Yo guys, I'm Truzo, and out of the blue, Vincent Pella, the CEO of Respawn Entertainment, confirms the next Battlefield with an interview with IGN, and so we're going to take a look at what they have to say. Let's jump straight into it. Untitled Battlefield game exclusive, Vincent Pella confirms the next Battlefield will use modern setting, first concept art revealed. We get a first glimpse at EA's big Battlefield revival and learn more about how it's getting back to basics. So here is the concept art right here. So we can see a bunch of uh, attack helicopters, some boats. It's a modern setting. We got a bunch of village. Um, yeah, it looks like wildfires and smoke everywhere. So let's see what they have to say. This is by uh, Cat Bailey. Ahead of Investor Day on September 17th, EA revealed fresh details on Untitled Battlefield game alongside its first concept art, which IGN can exclusively reveal for the first time. IGN can also confirm that Battlefield will be turning to modern setting after stints of World War One and Two and near future. Uh, while EA is cagey about specifics when it comes to concept art, including declining the name of the city, it looks like it's to be set in Italy or France or somewhere else in Europe. It does not include details that should stand out alongside fans of the series. Uh, among other uh, things, it appears to suggest that the ship to ship and helicopter combat will be a part of the new game and it will feature natural disasters like wildfires. Oh, OK, so that's what this is over here, I'm assuming then. It's going back to the grayish color scheme from Battlefield 4, which remains one of the most popular games in the series, despite being released a decade ago. Battlefield goes back to basics. All of it points to the back to basics approach to the next Battlefield. Head of Respawn, a, a GM, and EA Studios, Vince Appella, is quick to shout out Battlefield 3 and 4 in the sitting down with IGN to talk about the new reveals. Uh, its decision to return to the modern area, Zappella says, I mean, if you look back to the back, the peak of Battlefield, it's Battlefield 3 and 4. Uh, the era was modern, and I think getting back to the core of Battlefield is what will do amazingly well. We'll see where it goes from there. I think for me, it's the peak of Battlefieldness is in Battlefield 3 and 4 days. Uh, I think it's nostalgic for players for me and the teams even. Those are the kind of heyday, although I would say 1942 also. I never got to play that. Um, but I heard it was really good. The return of the modern setting represents a course correction for the series after Battlefield 2042. That was a disaster, which eventually found its footing. It did. But otherwise, widely uh, pained from features like specialists, characters that made it seem as if Battlefield was trying to do a hero shooter. Uh, Concord. Don't want to repeat that again. Its ambitious 120 player maps also proved unpopular with the fans. Preferred a more focused experience. Battlefield 2042 eventually went back to supporting 64 player maps and the Battlefield plans to stick to that approach. Now, I felt like the map was like really too big in 2042. You were like running forever and then you just get sniped out of nowhere by a guy sitting in some bush or something. I, I think the 64 maps were really uh, better in terms of like five and even Battlefield 1 was really good. I feel like the maps were really well designed. Um, I'd rather have nice, dense, really nice, well designed play spaces. Some of them are really good. Yeah, the 128 player did make it more fun. Doing the number for the sake of the number doesn't make any sense. We're testing everything around uh, what's the most fun. But like you said, the maps, once they get to a certain scale, become different, a different play space. And I think get designed around that. We are designed. Uh, designing something that is more akin to previous battlefields, Simpella says. I'd rather have a nice, dense, really nice, well-designed play spaces. Some of them are really good. Can't wait for you to see them. That's good to hear. I hope the play spaces are fun. All I like my favorite personally were Battlefield One, I think five, to be honest. Three and four were there, but I think five and one were just in terms of like the era and like how it felt was really cool. Um specialists are also out this time around. But thank God. I didn't like them. They were cool. I feel like the classes are just so much more Battlefield. So I wasn't there for 2042. That's good. So no pivoting back to that. Thank God. I don't uh, know what the rationale was, but for me, the team tried something new. I can I can respect trying something new, but uh, after a while, you just gotta be like, this does not seem like Battlefield. You have to applaud the effort. Not everyone liked it. True, but you gotta try things. It didn't work. It didn't fit. Specialists will not be coming back. So classes are kind of the core battlefield, and we're going to be going back to that. Thank God. Thank you, Zampella, for going back to classes. Um, he's careful to stress that Battlefield 2042 wasn't a failure of a game. True, it did, it did make a comeback, despite not being as well as a hope. He noticed that development team really spent a lot of time learning how to adapt and getting ba things back. They did. They pulled it back, to be honest. Um, wasn't as great as the other ones, but they did get it back on track. Uh, still, he says EA does not want to re repeat the experience they had with 2042. We want to be good out of the gate. Please make it good out of the gate. It will do so much better. It adds up to what one might call classic Battlefield, but bigger, big enough um, that it merits efforts of four separate studios. So we're going to have DICE, Motive, Ripple Effect, and Criterion. Uh, Ridgeline Games was 
briefly a part of its development before being shuttered after uh, the founder left. Okay. EA CEO Andrew Wilson claims it's the most ambitious uh, project in EA's history. I think this was part of the, the call they had. Um, nevertheless, Impel remains vague on what all that actually entails. Yet it's definitely betting bigger on Battlefield, going in and expanding what Battlefield is. We have to uh, expand the core. The core Battlefield players know what they want. They have been with us forever. They've been amazing supporters. We need to earn their trust back if they do and get them back on our side. Yeah, after 2042 and the disasters launch, they nearly need to get the they need to get the fans back. And then expanding uh, out and getting more players into the universe and seeing what we can do. So you want a different experience. You don't want to have to uh, you don't want to have to leave Battlefield. You can experience more things within the Battlefield universe. So we're expanding the offerings that we're giving. Okay, the road ahead. In the meantime, Activision Blizzard is planning to release BO6. Okay, assembled. Um, Call of Duty is doing its thrive. Um, if you look at the best battlefields, we've outsold some of the Call of Duties in the other way back and forth. So I think absolutely it can. So they're trying to contend with like the same thing as COD, but they don't want to say step on their toes per se because it's in their own lane. They want to do something different. They're not trying to copy COD in any way. Um, there's definitely opportunities there. We've had some discussions, but it's not our core business. To me, the staff, when it works, it's super cool. Like Arcane was amazing, uh, but there are other ones that were worked uh, uh, as well. So they're talking about not necessarily doing a TV show rendition. Um, it's unclear when the next Battlefield will release, but there are signs that EA is ramping up for 2025, having entered full production earlier this year. Oh, okay. According to some bill, EA playtesting the game every week and plans to uh, launch a community program next year, though it is unclear if it closed beta or something else. I think we're in a really good place. Is it challenging at first? But I think it would be fun if it wasn't. We have a program that we're going to announce next year around getting more community in. That's good because that's the kind of core we want to have. Get the community back on our side. Get the trust back, he says. So I think we're in a really good place. Is it challenging of course? But that wouldn't be fun if it wasn't. It wouldn't be fun if it wasn't. Whenever Battlefield eventually releases, it'll be a big test for the series, which has a lot to prove to our fans after close to a decade since a really successful entry. That's true. They'll be entering an unsettled console landscape. Sony announcing the PS5 Pro and the next-gen consoles, so they're going to probably try to get it on all the uh, next-gen consoles. You know, it's like they're trying to get it on the Switch. One way or another, EA is being uh, betting on a huge amount of money, uh, time and money, manpower on the idea that the multiplayer shooter space is ready for a shakeup. As to whether it will pay off, it sounds like we'll know sooner rather than later. So interesting. So they really uh, are going back to the modern era. No more specialist. Um, it seems like they're going to have more dense maps. No 128 player maps. That one map, I forget what it's called, the desert map or the stadium. That one was terrible on release. And then they had to remake it. They spent so much time on remaking old map, the old maps in 2042 to make them actually good. And I think you just got to make it like Battlefield 5, 1, and even 3 and 4. I personally like the maps on 5 and 1 the most, but that's just because of the error or whatever. But I like to see how well successful it can be in the modern setting because I think it can be and that's where Battlefield thrives especially on 3 and 4 we'll have to see they have boat combat helicopter combat wildfires it looks like so let me know what you guys think of the next Battlefield and are you guys going to be pl playing in the upcoming betas it seems like they're going to have announced soon and the official release coming in 2025 it seems catch you guys later peace